Melissa Paulus, 26A Glen Avenue. It's unfortunate that the mayor left because I've been trying to contact him uh, for several months. I've been again asking for meetings. I have not get, gotten a response. Therefore, I am asking you at your budget meeting to consider lowering his salary because he's not performing his duties. I am not the only one that has had complaints. As you've heard from several people, that he says one thing to your face and turns around and does either nothing or the exact, exact opposite. He needs to be held accountable to do his job. We are paying for his salary and his benefits. And if he cannot answer to us residents, then he needs to resign. So I think the first step to, to address the issue, lower his salary. You've done it to other employees um, that were questionable. I commend you for that. You've done exactly what we voted you to do. And for the record, for anybody who thinks that there's any conspiracy between me and any of these council members, you are wrong. Because I have never been versed or told what to ask or post on Facebook. I don't need any coaching. I have a mind of my own. If anybody here can say that you have done exactly what I've been accused of, or what you've been accused of in versing me or coaching me, please speak up now. Because I'm not aware of it. I'll be honest, Ms. Wallace. I don't think you have the personality to where I could you do <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't need anyone to do it. I actually started coming to these meetings for another reason. And once I saw what's been going on, what I came here for is not important. It's really very upsetting to see what is happening with the current mayor's office. And I commend you for everything you're doing, and I stand behind you. Actually, I stand beside you and keep at it because you're doing exactly what you were elected for. And like I said, if he cannot start addressing us residents that are paying for him to do a job, then he needs to resign. And if he does not resign and start doing his job, I will reinstate that recall. I've already started getting people who said they will definitely sign. I have conferred with other mayors. I have conferred with other public officials, and they all said, your alternative is to recall him. So anybody who is not satisfied with the job that he's doing, or the lack of the job that he's doing, <coughs> contact me. I'm because first. I'm ready to move forward. I'm tired of it. Too much time has been wasted. And there's a lot of nonsense. And what I see as being a waste of legal fees because of his, whatever his issue is. I don't know what his issue is. I really don't. I don't understand it. Nobody else can understand it. I have been in contact with the insurance company over the last several months, or probably at least six months. He's a liability to us, and it doesn't take a whole lot to see that. And anybody who doesn't admit to it, then you know what? You're living in a different world, and I suggest you take the rose-colored glasses off. Mm. I'm really, I'm tired of it. So, again, something's got to be done. I don't know what it is. I have asked for a meeting with him, Mr. Wenner, myself, and my attorney. I've gotten no response. What is it? He comes to a meeting and leaves? What's up with that? I know, you have no answer. It's not that I don't want to answer. It's just that I, I, I don't I have know. the answer. It, it's disgusting. I'm tired of it. I'm sorry, but thank you thank for you. your comments. <laughs> Is there anyone else who has a comment?